Thank you very much, Coach Beheim. A tough loss to say the least. What would you do differently if you had the opportunity to do it over again, Coach? I don't ever second guess myself, James. I leave that up to you guys. I thought our kids played their heart out. I thought they did everything that we could possibly do. We played a great team. I thought we played as well as we could play. Uh, Indiana's a great basketball team, and they won the game at the end, and I think that's the way it should be. They made a great play at the end of the game to win it. Coach, on that last shot by Keith Smart, did you realize that there was more time left on the clock than you felt should have been? It was one second when they gave the ball to you. Do you feel there should have been more time on the clock? Uh, it was close. It was a close call, but I'm not going to think about that. Congratulations on getting all the way to the finals game. Thank you very much. All right, Jim Nance, back to you. Thank you, James. And isn't it ironic that five years ago, the heroics here were performed by number 23, Michael Jordan, from the same side of the court as number 23, Keith Smart of Indiana tonight. And we'll continue from the Superdome in just a moment. I drove that car. It was without question another tournament classic as Steve Alford helps tear down the net here at the Superdome. The Chevy MVPs of this championship game, the freshman Derek Coleman with 19 rebounds for Syracuse, and Keith Smart with 21 points, including the game-winning basket for the Hoosiers. And so the year of the Hoosiers continues. From Brent Musburger, Billy Packer, James Brown, and all of the following supporting cast here at CBS Sports, I'm Jim Nance saying so long from the Superdome in New Orleans.